Hello my beautiful and lovely gamers, my name is Yonel and today we're gonna take a little bit look at, at something that I get told when I do private coaching, when I do, you know, general, when I watch YouTube coaching, my Twitch stream, in general, when I communicate with a lot of players, and of course I've also experienced this myself, and that's the, the useless teammates or my teammates are bad, they suck. Um, phenomenon that is happening for a lot of players that solo queue, duo queue, whatever, where, they, where it's like they feel that their team is never really doing anything and it's they have to really hard carry them for, to have any chance of winning or be lucky with the hero pool that like you will have someone that won't pick Hanzo or something like that uh, to actually win and rank up in competitive. I think this is important to mention, especially now that Season 7 has started. We are getting ready to try to climb up and get some new stuff. I wanted to, to put this video out here for you guys. And in general, on how to, to fix this problem. And just before I jump in, just want to say thank you to all the lovely new subscribers. We just hit 4,000, which is, for me, it's super amazing. I uh, It's nothing on YouTube compared to a lot of YouTubers. Um, but for me, it's just it's it, it's insane to see all the the support and everyone coming in here, and especially also on my Twitch, where where so many people are involved in the chat and watching my streams and, and enjoying having a good time, uh, and also of course in the Discord community, I see more and more people being active there talking and stuff like that, and it's really really cool. So I just want to say thank you all for helping me create such an amazing uh, community and continuing to help us grow this community to something that hopefully can become even better and greater in the future. Now, without no further ado, let's just jump right into this. And the the phenomenon a lot of time I hear is, is like blaming on Hanzo's and and saying like, yeah, we have this useless Hanzo. He never get kills. He's not doing anything. Widowmakers in general. Uh, in general, there's a lot of them that that gets you know hate on if some if the mercy dies with her ultimate like four times in a row. The Reinhardt always sh shatters the enemy shields. And, and you know the general mistake, right? You know playing with bad teammates. Which are holding you back and and making sure that you can't really uh, climb out of the rank that you know you deserve to climb out of. Now this will piss a lot of people off for me saying this, but that's the very wrong mentality, and I'll try to explain why. There's something that I say uh, to, to everyone: you do not know what is going on on the enemy screen. You do not know what's going on in the enemy's head. You cannot see the enemy screen unless you are like legitimately running around watching their every move and if you're doing that then you of course are doing something wrong not participating to your team you do not know what is going on what the situation is and i can put it like this i uh, for some of you that watch my live stream i play i play hanzo a lot i play games just stuff like that and i was uh, on my friend's account down in silver having some fun there playing around right that's silver that's nothing right like people are ridiculously i'm outskilling them ridiculously i played a lot of hanzo had some fun right with, I think I had over, I think I had like 62 kills, over, way over 20k damage, right? The, the only one that was like, I was dominating the enemy team, uh, and then of course we were starting to lose, my team made a lot of stupid mistakes and stuff like that, uh, and we were about to lose, and guess who got blamed for almost losing the match? It was of course the Hanzo, even though I was dominating, even though I was playing really well, and this happened in gold as well, when I played another guy's friend's account, and essentially... It happens to everyone. It happened to me, even when I'm dominating. And we have seen some YouTubers posting footage of them really doing well while the teammates bitch about it. And that is a huge problem for this community. The mentality problem where if you just lock a hero and you, you decide or someone decide that that hero pick is not good. We're missing a tank. We're going to lose. We're missing as a, 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 the second support. We are going to lose. When you're playing Hanzo, we're going to lose. The mentality that people have like that is legitimately losing them the matches. For a lot of reasons, if they start bitch about it, they might tilt teammates. Not even the teammate that is talking, but just people can get for infuriated about... Uh, getting just the trash talk the guy that is getting trash talk might like oh I'm totally gonna show him now and that might push him to play way more aggressive and way out of his bounds than what he's thinking uh, it will a lot of the time it will also tilt you or make you more aggressive or angry just the small things in general focusing on the fact that my team is doing bad focusing on that instead of focusing on where the weaknesses from the enemy team is focusing on, on trying to be a positive and try okay if i know that my that my anna for example she has bad aim if i know that she has bad aim 
I have to take that into consideration for myself, like, okay, how I position myself, how much damage I will take, but I'm not going to focus on, I'm not going to yell at the Ana, be like, oh, we have a bad Ana, why, why, why do I have it, like, why am I losing for this, right, you kind of just have to say, okay, this is what I have been given, I'm not going to bitch about it, I'm going to let the guy play what he is, I'm going to say positive, he might be really good, he can be a smurf, he might just be really good the reason that he's not doing good in the beginning can be because you know he's just not warm or something like that and then we'll just like okay i'll i'll just like trust and hope that he is good uh, and let him do his thing i'll do my thing and play to my very best abilities but i'm not gonna focus on how bad my team is doing i'm rather gonna focus on how bad the enemy team is doing where's their weaknesses so i can exploit those to win the match and that will help the community stay positive it will help you hopefully to rank up have a better experience in point where you're not going to be mad and irritated all the time and in general it's way better than us being frustrated over our team members because remember they are in your rank unless you for some reason are smurfing way down on where you're supposed to be so for example you are a master you play down in goal right then you then it's like you can kind of be irritated over your team being bad if you're losing down in gold but again you shouldn't be because it's really bad for the community but in general if this is like the rank that you kind of are in even though you have been in a higher rank but you have dropped down to like from diamond to platinum you are right now in the same skill level as everyone else on your team and that does not give you just because you have been higher ranked them does not give you the rights to act like well an asshole really towards them and i believe that this can Really help the community and help you guys stay positive and enjoy the game more because there's so much success right now, guys. And I feel that a lot of the reason, and I do this all the time when I do private coaching, uh, I, people are like, oh yeah, but I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know why I'm stuck in Diamond or Master. Uh, it, my team members just seem to be so bad and they're focusing so much on, on that. And then I tell them, you know what, try to, to think about it like this. And then like two weeks later, I get a message like, oh, dude, the thing that you taught me about, you know, staying positive and not caring about the, my, our, my team picks and stuff like that, acknowledging what they are, uh, acknowledging if they're like, okay, we have a Bastion and a Reinhardt, okay, or we have an Ana that, that is bad with aiming, acknowledging that is good, but bitching about it and being negative about it and being angry about it is just drawing you back. You are handicapping, you're putting sticks in your own wheel and tripping over and, and, and really just handicapping yourself when you're trying to enjoy the game and climb in Overwatch. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is something that I want to talk a little bit about. I, I want to promote a um, more happy community, a good, strong community like the one that we have here in the Discord, on my Twitch, or in general, on this YouTube community. And I want to thank all of you for, for helping me build this and continuing to build this. My moderators, everyone that's active in the chat and talking to me and everyone else. I, I love you guys for that. And uh, I really hope that some of these videos helping you out. As always, guys, my name has been Jonal. Stay positive and keep the enemy in your crosshair. <laughs>